Hey guys, so I just got back from the feeders from another double feature. Um, I'm very, very tired and I had a long day, so I don't really want to get these reviews over with as soon as possible. Uh, this really hasn't, wasn't really that big of an exciting week as far as movies. Uh, it was actually a really bad week as far as box office with pretty much anything that wasn't Frozen 2 not doing well. Um, I mean, usually the post thanks the, the week after Thanksgiving, usually you have nothing out, and it's this year's no no exception there. Um, first movie that I went and saw was Play Mobile the movie. Yes, I did. I saw that movie. I did see this movie. Um, I might be one of two people that saw this movie. Actually, take that back. There was a there was a family. With their two kids, uh, there's a, a husband and wife with their two kids uh, that did walk in during uh, went before this movie started. So I wasn't the only one in the theater. I expected I was going to be the only one in the theater. You don't know this movie is like one of the biggest box office bombs ever. <laughs> like literally ever. It made. I'm not making this up. In its first weekend in North America, six hundred sixty thousand dollars. That's it. <laughs> That's it. So, yeah, this movie didn't do well. Like, I mean, what the fuck did you expect? It, like, from the trailers, it looked like shit. You can tell it looked like shit. Most people in America, I even asked my mom, and said, you never play mobile? And I'm like, no, what are those? Like, I think they're more popular over to, in Europe than they are in North America, so that probably has something to do with it. And plus, when you see trailers like this movie that you saw for this movie, you're like, oh, so it's just a knockoff of uh, the Lego movie. It's literally the first thing I thought as soon as I saw the trailers for this. I'm like, So it's a knockoff of the Lego movie. And I'm not the only one who's been pointing this out. So, I mean... And you can tell from, like, just, like, what the figures look like that they're supposed to be a knockoff of fucking Legos. So, I went in with very low expectations with this movie. And, like I said, I was curious. Like, I was... I went in very, very low expectations. I was going in thinking that this was going to be, like, another Arctic Dogs where I'm like, why the fuck did I sit for this piece of shit? And I... Before I went into this movie, I kept hearing quite a bit a lot of people tell me this movie's very fucking weird and that the trailers don't really good, do a good representation of what this movie actually is. So I'm like, okay, I'm kind of curious. So, yeah, this movie's not very good. First off, let's just say that. <laughs> this movie's not very good. It's not Arctic Dogs bad. It isn't. Uh, Arctic Dogs is way worse than this. Um, this movie's just a movie that's just a movie that is there, and I probably will barely remember, other than a few things about this movie, I would probably not remember much about this movie, other than, like I said, there's a couple things I'll remember about this movie, um, but this is a movie that's just kind of forgettable, but when I say that, it is forgettable for a majority of, like, the last, for the, for a majority of, like, the last two-thirds of this movie are really just kind of forgettable. But the first 15 minutes are something that just need to be seen to be believed. I'm not making this shit up when I say this. So, I, this movie opens with, uh, what's the girl's name? Anna, Anna Taylor-Joy? Uh, the girl that plays the, uh, that voices the, um, the main girl play mobile figure ring in this movie. Uh, it opens with her in live action form. Like, singing and dancing with her brother about how she wants to skip or uh, miss her first year of college. She wants to convince her parents to miss her first year of college so she can go travel the world. She's got a passport and she's singing and dancing with her brother about all the things she's going to go see and how excited she is that you know, she and she hopes her parents will understand. And I'm sitting there like, what fucking movie did I walk into? <laughs> it's like, did I walk into the wrong movie? I'm like, where's the play mobile figures? Why is this not animated? What's going on? And then I'm sitting there thinking in the back of my mind also, I'm like, well, okay, so this is exactly a Lego movie ripoff. This is showing 
Like, because, like, in the background, you do see play mobile figures, and they're, t- they're, they show that the brother and sister are kind of like, like to play with these play mobile figures together and stuff like that. It's like, okay, so it's going to Lego movie route, but it's just not even fucking throwing the live action part of it as a twist. It's just throwing it out at you in, like, in the first 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, this is weird. Um, but then, I'm not making this up. As soon as she's done singing and dancing about all this, there's cops at their door. And I went, oh no. You're not going there. And the cops proceed to tell them their parents have died in a car accident. To which I was in the middle of the movie for going, what? <laughs> what movie is this? And it cuts to the fucking four years later, and she's taking care of her brother by herself. And it's like, she's like living on ends beat. And I'm like, wait, what movie is this? Like, where did this come from? What the fuck is this shit? I'm like, what? <laughs> like, and... It only gets into the play mobile stuff when the brother leaves the fucking house. He he, he walks out of the house and is Anna Taylor Joy. Yeah, Anna Taylor Joy. She's a really good actress. She's not bad in this. She is a really good actress. I'll give her that. She's a fucking really good actress. But yeah, anyways, she or her brother ends up like leaving the house and going to this like toy convention that's like closed down for the night. And comes across this like big giant city of play mobile toys, and she c- finds him in the middle of this like giant like built city of play mobile toys, and they get sucked into this play mobile world, and it becomes animated from that point forward. And so, what this movie is from the trailers, it makes it look like it's a movie about Daniel Radcliffe and his spy character. But really, it's about... But no, he's in a minor role in this movie. What you see in the trailers, there aren't even parts of that trailer that like are completely missing from this fucking movie. And it makes it look like it's a spy movie, but no, it's about a fucking... These characters, his brother and sister getting separated, and they're on a journey to find each other. You've seen this a million times before. It's just ends up being that generic journey movie that you see in a lot of kids' movies from this point forward. And that's where the movie was like, like I said, for the first 10, 15 minutes, I was like, this movie is fucking weird, but I'm interested where it's going. And then it just started to lose me as soon as the Playmobil stuff got in there because it just becomes your generic journey movie with the comic release... Do you got Adam Lambert's a uh, what the fuck was he? He was uh uh King Maximus of like Greek like Roman he was like this Roman emperor who was this a flamboyant Adam Lambert emperor. That's basically the the best way to describe him. Um uh, Jim Gaffigan Plays a comic relief. Who Jim Gaffigan deserves a hell lot better than this shit. Uh, Daniel, like I said, Daniel Radcliffe is as a spy. Even though he is got like top billing on the posters and everything else like that, he's barely in this fucking movie. And then like when the credits show roll in the beginning of the movie, it should have been dead giveaway when it says and Daniel Radcliffe at the very end. Like, like I said, this movie is about Anna Taylor Joy's character and her brother's. It's her, their story, and the rest are just side characters. Um, like I said, this, the trailers of this movie are so fucking misleading and weird. Like, the movie you get is, like, completely different from what the hell you get out of the trailers. And, like I said, still, the movie you get is still not very good. But <laughs> it's at least, like, like I said, it showed some weird promise that we would get something really bizarre with... The first 15, 20 minutes, but then it just, like I said, becomes your generic kids movie. And like I, said, I really couldn't give a shit from that point forward. Uh, you got, like, all these, they keep traveling to different worlds. Like, 
uh, there's a western part, there's a, like, a sci-fi part, there's a, like I said, Roman Colosseum, where they, uh, a bunch of prisoners are having a fight to death with a monster, uh, who ends up being a T-Rex, spoiler alert, um, there's not much stuff other, other than, like, what I just talked about, like I said, this movie just, <clears throat> it's, Goes in one ear, or goes out. Goes in one ear, comes out the other. That's basically it. I learned in the first thirteen or fifteen minutes, this movie is just forgettable. This, I was wondering, like, when that first fifteen minutes happened, I was like, I want to know what the reaction of the kids behind me are. Like, <laughs> like I want to also know what the parents' reaction is. Because I'm sure they're probably the same reaction I had. Like, what the fuck movie did I walk into? Like, like. <laughs> I did not expect that one fucking bit. I was like, first I was taken off a back when it was like live action for the first 15 minutes. And then that shit just kept going. I'm like, man, that was a weird fucking... Like I said, it's, like I said, it's forgettable. I I guess if your kids want to see it, run it. Um, it's not the worst fucking kids movie this year. Stuff like Arctic Dogs was way worse. Um... But it's still not very good. Um, I, I don't really, really say I recommend. There's a lot better kids' movies out there than this to go check out. Um, really, nobody saw this anyway, so I'm sure nobody is. Still going to see it. Um, trailers. Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaway. Uh, I keep forgetting this is getting a... That movie, uh, Peter Rabbit's getting a sequel. I reviewed Peter Rabbit when it came out like quite a couple of years ago. I actually really fucking enjoyed that movie. Surprisingly did. More than I thought it would. And, uh... As that movie was bizarre. It was, it was such a bizarre little film that, like... Got really fucking dark at times. Like, took some really dark fucking turns that I never expected out of a Peter Rabbit movie. But it did. And... <laughs> including, like, Peter Rabbit giving, uh... Mr. McGregor a fucking heart attack and killing him and like Mrs. McGregor killing Peter's dad and eating him in a pie. That literally does happen in that movie. And uh, I was like, what fucking this is a really graphic fucking Peter Rabbit movie. And this one, it's a sequel where um, Donald Gleason and uh, who was a Rose Burner getting married. Donald Gleason was great in that movie. He was great. Uh, he was one of the best parts of that movie. And he was having a ball. That guy's a really good actor. Um, and Peter Rabbit's film left out and he r runs away or something like that. He meets another rabbit. Who knew his dad or something like that? That's all I. And like, and like I said, I'm probably the trailers weren't really didn't give me nothing, but near to the trailers for the first one, so maybe this one will be just like the first one, where the trailers are not that good, but the movie ends up being a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So who knows? And then a new trailer for Trolls World Tour. Um, yeah, it's more extended version. I got. More, I got. I knew what the plot was from the first trailer. It's about like a rock and roll troll who wants to combine the strings of all the uh, versions of music out there and destroy. I don't know the troll world, or I don't know. If I, I didn't care too much for the first one that much, so I'm not really looking forward to this one that much. So, but whatever. Uh, that's as far as trailers go. Uh, that, I'll be back. I have one more review to do. Until then, I'll talk to you guys later.